Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we have got another corkscrew claw and another white line associated with it. You can see that corkscrew rotation right here and it's caused a little crack to form up above here. And then, that's right, heel bulb separation. We need to remove all of this area in between. So let's get started on it. So when you have this rotation, this corkscrew of the medial claw, what's happening is you have less wear on the inside of the claw and more wear toward the outside wall. So to make that adjustment, we're gonna trim off more toward the inside of the foot and less on that outside wall edge. Here you can get a good look at that defect and that's gonna connect up above and that's where we're gonna remove right now. As I begin to pair away above this mark in the claw here, you're going to notice some bruising appear. That is telltale signs that this started from the inside. That bruising is deposited when that hoof is formed on the inside of the foot. And this defect is a result of that imperfection in that white line. It's allowed bacteria to travel, and that's what we need to fix now. Another common question I get is, why don't you wash these feet completely before you start trimming? This is a perfect example of why I don't. Look at all that debris packed up underneath this false sole. I couldn't possibly clean that away until I've removed all of this loose horn. Then I can do a good job and get it nice and clean to get this to heal. Because I can see that I've got quite a bit of sole left to remove here, I'm gonna use my grinder to kind of speed this process up. Thin that out, makes those cuts much easier with my knife. How do I know exactly how much to remove? I need to make sure that I get it all away from that lesion. You can see here, there's still some pushing up right around that. If I were to leave that there, it could actually hinder that lesion from healing, so I need to get that all away now. As I was working on this day, I had this guy keeping an eye on me just to make sure everything was going just as he'd planned. It's much easier though when he's laying on the other side or I don't have to worry about him. You got to keep your eyes peeled when you got bulls around because they can be unpredictable. Let's get back and finish cleaning up this lesion. Now that we've got it completely exposed, we can do a thorough job cleaning with my chlorhexidine. Kill all the bacteria in and around this, and we're gonna get a block in that other claw, as usual, to take the weight off of this injured one. Give you one last look at this. Before we get the block on the other claw, we're gonna treat this one with salicylic acid, wrap it all up, and oh yes, I forgot to mention, 
she's got a problem on one of her back feet as well. So while that glue is setting up, we're going to treat that one as well. And while this back foot doesn't look nearly as problematic as the front, this is actually the one that she was favoring the most. And that is going to do it for today's video. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.